If you're a legal professional, you know the importance of handling images efficiently, whether it's resizing evidence photos, court exhibits, or ID scans. Today I'll show you how PowerToy's Image Resizer can streamline your workflow and save you valuable time. Let's dive in. First, if you haven't already, you'll need to install PowerToys. It's a free set of utilities for Windows 10 and 11 users. I've got a full installation tutorial within this same playlist that'll show you how you can download and install it. Just click the card in the upper right hand corner now or click the link in the description. Once you've got PowerToys installed, open it up and look for Image Resizer on the dashboard. If it's not enabled already, click the toggle to turn that feature on. Now let's look quickly at how it works. First, open File Explorer and find the pictures you need to resize. If you need to resize multiple files at once, here are some tricks for selecting them efficiently. If you want to select all the files in the folder, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-A. To select a consecutive subset of files, click the first file, then hold down the Shift key and click the last file in the group. If you need to select multiple files, hold down the Control key while clicking each file. Once your files are selected, right-click and choose Resize with Image Resizer. When the Image Resizer window opens, you can select from some size presets. Small, Medium, Large, Phone, and Custom. You can apply the same settings to all selected images in one step. Bear in mind, though, that you may encounter files with different aspect ratios, such as a rectangular 1920 by 1020 pixel image versus a square 600 by 600 pixel image, which can affect how your pictures resize. One thing you want to be careful of is how certain options will affect your images. For example, I'm going to resize this photo currently 475 pixels wide by 358 pixels tall to the phone size, which is 320 by 568 pixels. I've turned off both Make Pictures Smaller but Not Larger and Ignore the Orientation of Pictures. When I resize it, it becomes 320 pixels wide by 240 pixels tall, which fits within the phone size definition. However, if I resize it again to the phone size definition, but this time check the Ignore the Orientation of Pictures option, it resizes to 425 pixels wide and 320 pixels tall. If you need all images to have the exact same dimensions, consider setting a custom width and height, but be mindful that this may stretch or crop some images. Alternatively, for legal document images, you may want to use a preset that best fits your use case. Speaking of presets, you can create your own. Just go back to the Image Resizer in the Power Toys window and click Add New Size. Then click the pencil icon in the new entry to rename it and enter your preferred dimensions. And there you have it. Power Toys Image Resizer is a powerful tool that can help legal professionals manage their image files more efficiently. It's easy to use, saves time, and ensures your images meet the necessary requirements. If you found this tip helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the playlist on the left for more PowerToys productivity hacks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.